Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to this video about conditional rendering. So conditional rendering is a big part of front end development. And it pretty much comes down to conditionally showing something to a user or not. So for example, saying I want to display this if a user is logged in or I want to have a certain style applied when a certain condition is met and so on. So to give you an example uh, of this, um, we could, for example, say whether we want to display something to a user based on whether he or she is authenticated or not. So let's start by defining a user object. For now, we will simply say is authenticated. And let's put that to false for now. And we can have like, let's do a header. We will call it app. And let's have a P tag in here and we could say, welcome. Um, and let's give that user a name as well. There we go. So now I could, for example, say, welcome user dot name. So now if I go to my app, it will say, welcome Mitchell, but let's say we want to show the name if the user is authenticated and if not we want to show, show for example welcome uh please log in so be be because i'm going to use both properties i personally prefer to destructure them off the user object so i could say i want to get something from the user object starting with the name and also is authenticated so now we can just say name right here and now we could say welcome and right here we can have some conditional uh, text display. So we could say if the user is authenticated, show the name. Otherwise show um, please log in. And now when I save it, you see when the user is not again authenticated, it will show please log in. If it changes to true, it would show the name. And the same goes for styling, right? Um, so in a couple of uh, videos from now, we're going to take a look at uh, how we can do styling in React, but that will give you a small um, sneak preview. So let's say we want to have green text when the user is logged in and red when he or she is not. So I can go to my app.css file. Oops, this one. And I could say... Um, welcome text um, let's say by default it's uh, it's red and welcome text authenticated or authored you could say color is green something like that so now I save it and what I can do now first I have to import that fell from our um, in our component. So I could say import app.css. And now right here, I could say class name. And we kind of like apply the same logic. So we say is if is authenticated, then give it a class of uh, what was it again? Um, welcome text authored otherwise show welcome text and now you see if we are authenticated the text is green and if it's not it's red so that's a very simple uh, example of using the ternary operator for conditional rendering however we can also use the logical and operator so Let's say we want to show also the login button if the user is not authenticated. I could say button login. We we'll just give it a type of button. However, it will not have any functionality for now. Um, but of course, if I save this, it will always show that button. But I only want to show this if the user is not authenticated. So I can wrap this inside curly brackets and I could say if not is authenticated so using the exclamation mark right here and now I can use the logical and operator 
So now it will say, if the user is not authenticated, then show the button. So now when I save it, you'll see it shows the login button when is authenticated as false. If you set it to true, it will be gone. So that's a very simple example of the um, logical ad operator. The next thing I'd like to show you is an enum. So let's imagine this user also has a role. Um, and we will say it's a customer for now. And let's say there's, uh, there's multiple roles out there. Let's say we have an admin role, a shop manager role, um, a customer and a guest role. And let's say that someone asks us to uh, conditionally render that welcome message saying, for example, hi for admin and shop manager, but welcome for customer and guest. So what we could do here, and I personally wouldn't call it um, a very good practice, but they will kind of chain these ternary operators. And I will show you how you could do that. However, I don't recommend it in this case. Um, they will say if role equals um, admin, then say hi uh, admin. And then we can do another piece of logic here. We can say if role equals shop manager, um, in that case, show hi shop manager. And if that's not the case, well, you get the point. We, we can say again, if role equals customer, then, uh, and now let's just do it like this for now. Um, we could say welcome customer. So now, of course, we don't, we, we didn't destructure role from our user object. So let's do that right here. And now when I save it, you will see it says welcome customer. And if I change it to admin, it will say hi admin. Now, this might start to look a little bit messy because now we have four roles, but let's imagine we have, I don't know, 10 or 15. We would get this whole list of logic in our return statement. And it's generally speaking a good practice to keep your return as simple as possible. Keep it um, easy to read for other developers and yourself as well, of course. So what we could do here, we could make use of an enum and we will, we will be talking a lot more about this in the uh, TypeScript part of uh, this course. But for now, we can, uh, we could say something like this. We can say const welcome message, um, or welcome text. And we could say uh, admin is my admin and shop manager is hi shop manager customer welcome customer and guest is welcome guest there we go so now we could remove all of this There we go. And what we're going to do now, we are actually going to look inside of this object by using the square brackets based on our role. So it will search within that welcome text object and then it will check, okay, what is the role of the current user? And then it will look right inside there. So now if I save it, it will still work. And now if I change the role, you will see also that will work properly as well. So thanks for watching and I'd like to see you in the next one.